Hi folks, Jeremy Klein with you. On today's episode of Outdoors NV, I'm going to talk to you about the H2O Paddles Crystal X. H2O is a Canadian company right in Toronto, Ontario. Uh, the paddles are also Canadian made, so uh, we really like that about H2O. Uh, we do support uh, Canadian made products whenever we can. Uh, North America as a whole, we like to support. So uh, the Crystal X is available in four different colors. There's red, orange, blue, and green. I'll just give you an idea of the different color colors here. So here's the green. Red. Blue. And last but not least, is the orange. Of course, the uh, Crystal X gets its name aptly from uh, uh, the fact that the blade kind of looks like a crystal, uh, tinted crystal. So the blades themselves are available in two different shapes, uh, a high angle blade for high angle style paddling and a low angle. You can see this is a longer and narrower. It's not going to grab as much water. It's not going to, it's not going to create as much fatigue in your, in your core and in your arms as, a, as you paddle throughout that day. So this guy would be used for more of a long distance sort of thing when you're carrying gear for a couple of days of a trip, something to that nature, whereas the high angle is more of a, uh, a performance uh, type paddle that's gonna grab a lot more water. Uh, we teach a high angle uh, style in our Paddle Canada teaching, uh, but this is also available too if you wanna exert less energy over time. Of course, you're not gonna move as fast, not going to be as efficient, but you're not going to be as tired in theory. So uh, the two shapes, the uh, blades are made of a material called polyamide, which is basically, in a nutshell, it's a type of uh, hard nylon uh, that's ductile. Uh, NASA uses this in areas where they need a plastic that's not going to become brittle below zero, below uh, in freezing temperatures. So what this does for you is it gives you a blade that isn't going to crack or shatter as easily as carbon fiber or fiberglass So if you hit that off of something. Now not to say that it won't break, I mean if you hit this in the right spots with the right kind of energy it's still going to break but it's going to be less likely to do so than your carbon fiber or fiberglass. So uh, the blade also incorporates a reflective H2O logo so if you get in trouble at night that's going to increase your visibility if visible light shines off of it. The uh, paddles are available with two different shaft materials. There's uh, carbon fiber and fiberglass. So the fiberglass is just a, a black finish uh, and the fiberglass is only available in a straight blade whereas the carbon fiber has like a checkered pattern here. A little bit more strength and a little bit more lightweight is available in a bent shaft and what the bent shaft does is it aligns your wrist in a more neutral alignment with your arm than the straight uh, shaft does. The straight shaft, my, uh, you can see, my wrist is a little bit more cocked when my arm's straight, whereas with the bent shaft, it's in a more neutral position. Uh, that decreases fatigue as well. If you have a more neutral alignment on your wrist for the day, uh, you're going to get less fatigue in your wrist. So the carbon fiber is available in the bent shaft and in the straight shaft. <clears throat> Shown here. For 2012, uh, H2O has incorporated a new connection system to bring the two paddle halves together. There was a push button system previous to this. A very simple system we are uh, quite impressed by the simplicity of it. So how it works is you have a, a detent line here, an indicator line on the non, uh, the, non the static side of the paddle and then on the, the side of the paddle that has all the notches on the inside and the spring uh, you have uh, indications 15 degree increments right or left from 0 to 90 so if you want to off, offset your blades essentially. So what you do is you align the open indication up with the detent or the, uh, the indicator line, push the two ends together 
then you come on resistance. What you're doing is you're pushing against a spring inside the, the joint of the paddle. So you have to overcome the resistance of the spring and then rotate to whatever offset you want. So say minus 90, once you have it lined up with that indicator line, release the pressure, the inward pressure that you're creating, and you're lined up 90 degrees offset. See this blade's this way, this blade's this way. So if I wanted to change that, push the two ends together, or rotate again, I can put it to zero. And now, paddles are the same. Uh, one reason that you have a couple of reasons that you would do that, um, if you're paddling, proper paddling style, you're inserting your blade up near your feet, rotating your body, you'll notice that your wrist has a natural tendency to rotate a little bit as you're doing this. So that's why that uh, one reason that, that offset is available to you um, is to take advantage of that natural rotation as you're turning your torso. The other reason that it's there, and it's a little less uh, obvious, is if I have this blade in the water, this windy out, and you have your blades offset. So my paddle's grabbing water right now, my wetted paddle that's in the water. My dry paddle is going to cut through the wind as I'm going forward instead of grabbing the wind if my blades were uh, uh, straight instead of offset. So, blades in the water, this one's not going to catch any air. Uh, H2O isn't the only blade pa paddle manufacturer that does this, obviously. Most paddle manufacturers have this availability. Uh, what's unique to H2O is the way that this works. Just push in and twist and release. No buttons. You don't have to worry about your fingers getting jammed in little detents. Uh, excellent idea. We can't wait to use it on the water. So this is the H2O Crystal X Paddle by H2O Paddles in Toronto, Canada. We sell them here in St. John, New Brunswick, and we have a very good selection of them available.